So we are going to discuss about a very, very interesting topic, which is um, how to get rid of your bad habits. Okay, so all of us, uh, you know, have good and bad, uh, you know, um, and nobody is uh, perfect in this world. Okay, so, but how can we identify, okay, the bad habits what you have? Because a lot of time we don't know the bad habits what you have. Okay, and probably that is that is kind of a first thing you have to identify. Okay, what is that, uh, you know, you want to change because unless you identify what is bad, then you cannot, you know, change it. So now we'll be discussing about today, if you have, or you have already identified the bad habit, how can you then, you know, change that so that uh, you can, you know, develop, uh, not only you can get rid of the bad habits, but you can develop uh, good habits, whatever you want to embed. Okay, so for example, um, uh, you are, you have the craving or, you know, you to eat uh, sugar or unhealthy food, or you have a bad habit of not exercising, okay, and you want to exercise every day. So these are kind of habits over a period of time, we develop it, and things which we want to get rid of, okay. Uh, habit may be in a relationship wise, you know, you do, you, your personality is um, kind of, uh, you know, you get angry quite, uh, quite fast, quite easily. Um, or, uh, you know, you have the, you know, habit of, uh, you know, sleeping, you know, late uh, until late or going to bed late. So whatever that is, first you have to identify what is that bad habit. And then what is that habit? You know, you have to, you can do very simple steps. We'll discuss about some simple steps whereby anyone can implement and change, okay, uh, the their bad habits. So let me just uh, quickly share the screen and we will discuss, you know, this simple way of changing our bad habits, okay? Very simple ways. So how do we change? And for us to understand and simple way to get rid of our bad habits, you have to understand how the mind works anything relating to the mind okay uh, just like uh, we have instruction manual for everything okay how do you operate in anything uh, let's say you get a new gadget okay so it comes with uh, you got a new phone you it comes with a, an instruction manual or a user guide okay how do you operate but the problem with uh, you know our ourselves okay we are given this body and a mind but we do not have an instruction manual okay so uh, the creator okay god or creator or whoever that uh, you know um, uh, you believe in okay now our creator never uh, sends us to this world with an instruction manual of how do we handle it how do we take care of our body and the mind and that is where the problem starts. So as long as we are in pursuit of, uh, you know, uh, understanding and uh, evaluating and, uh, you know, we, we want to know how our mind works, uh, then, you know, you, we, you will get there or you will get there one day, okay? So now let's try to understand then how does the habits are formed, okay? And, um, and how then once you understand how our habits form, then we can understand and how we can change the habits, okay? Now, any habits, okay, to, uh, to, for it to form, it uh, either that habit, you know, uh, wants to, um, whatever we do in this world, uh, to be honest, okay? It is either to gain a pleasure, okay? or to get us away from pain, okay? So our, our mind, you know, for feeling-wise, feeling-wise, it understands two things, you know? One is happiness and, uh, you know, good feeling. Another is a sad or bad feeling, okay? So the sad or bad feeling, that is kind of, you can say it's pain. Pleasure is something, it's a good feeling you like. So for example, when you get hold of a chocolate, you know, a bar of chocolate and you are eating, uh, what it gives you is, uh, you know, your mind associate that with, uh, with pleasure, okay? You, it gives you a good, uh, good feeling, okay? So the, the sugar in, in it, you know, 
um, to the, the body's mechanism, you know, uh, sugar cr creates that, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, kind of, a, uh, you know, it creates, uh, you know, the, the good feeling, okay, the hormone, okay, in, in, in your body, okay, that is where, you know, sugar makes you feel good. So exactly the same way, if you are not exercising, okay, you uh, on a daily basis, uh, you know, you are not able to discipline yourself. So what happens here is your mind, okay, is associating exercising with uh, pain, okay? Uh, and uh, when it's painful, okay, and it's asking you the question, and why should I do it? Okay, which is which is painful. So for you to discipline yourself, uh, you know, to to do exercise, then you know you if you put willpower, okay, that okay, I want to discipline myself, and you know you uh, you put uh, you know an alarm uh, or on your mobile phone, uh, and you put a time, uh, you know, at this time I'll do exercise, and I'll wake up at this time. So what happens is you are putting the willpower. For example, similar way, for example, if you have a bad habit uh, of, let's say, you are smoking and you want to get rid of, uh, you know, the smoking habit, um, then what do you need to do, uh, you know, to, for you to get rid of, uh, you know, that bad habit of smoking. Now, the smoking is now associated with pleasure. So that means the feeling, okay, you may be feeling a bit high. When you are having um, having a puff or having uh, and having a cigarette or whatever you are smoking, okay. So now your brain is associating, you know, the pleasure. Okay, now pleasure is what if you if you try to understand it, it's all the trick of the mind, the the physical metabolism, the way our creator has designed, okay, our entire system. Okay, so. Um, you know the when you are smoking it creates uh, you know that kind of uh, you know um, chemical in your uh, you know in your nervous system okay and uh, you know and that chemical you know creates the feeling you feel like you know you are happy okay so exactly the same way it's either the pleasure or the pain or the sadness or the um, you know the the uh, you know um, good feeling okay um, happy feeling, okay. So that is what we are always go for, okay. So that means, uh, you know, we are pleasure seeking animals. And then how do we change it then? So the changing, okay, is not by willpower. You must have seen a lot of people. You must have seen yourself as well. You, you may have in the past have taken a lot of, uh, you know, um, uh, resolution, your resolution, or you have decided that, okay, I want to do this, but you never ever were able to stick to your plan. Okay. So what happened then? Willpower. Okay. Willpower is something which, uh, you know, continues for a shorter duration of time, but eventually it fades away. Why? Because again, your willpower is something you are forcing your body and your body is a created by your creator, God, or, you know, the creator has created. So, is, uh, you know, you are trying to, uh, you know, uh, impress upon or trying to change, you know, the design of your creator. And that is where, you know, you, you will fail. Okay. So, so the willpower never works. Then. Okay. So then how, how do you, you know, uh, create new habits and how you can destroy your bad habits? Okay. So now, Exactly. When you understand our how our mind works, then pleasure and pain, and happy feeling versus uh, you know um, uh, sad feeling. Okay. Now pleasure and pain, you can uh, now manipulate your brain so that uh, you know you can you can change it. Okay. So that means what? Now you understand that your mind is always looking for uh, you know a pleasure or getting away from pain, and your mind is looking for some happy feeling okay and not sad feeling now you understand with that now you try to manipulate okay and how exactly you do that let's die get uh, you know dive deeper into it to understand how it our, our mind and body which is connected and how it works and how you can it's a very simple way you can change this entire process okay so that you can get success okay so now so understanding is very important okay so now if you see, okay, 
to um, to change your thought process and the mind, you know, it's a difficult. Okay, um, our age old, uh, you know, saints and uh, you know all the scholars and uh, you know um, uh, sort of our ancestors. Okay, and if you see, if you refer to um, the the Eastern philosophies or Eastern teachings, okay, uh, you will understand that, that uh, you know. Uh, the mindfulness meditation. A lot of people say talk about the mindfulness meditation. What is mindfulness meditation? It is a way to connect, okay, your physical, okay, or physiology, okay, with your mind. Okay, why is that so? So that means mindfulness meditation is a way whereby uh, you know you are connecting your mind with your body. Okay, why uh, why do you need to do that? It's a because uh, it's a very difficult to manipulate your mind, okay? Because mind manipulation comes later, but first, first you have to understand that a thought is coming, okay? So that everything comes from a thought, okay? So now you see here, yeah, there are certain beliefs what we develop over a period of time. Our beliefs are, uh, you know, associated with habits, certain, certain scenarios, we can call them beliefs, okay? And certain scenarios, we can call them habits, okay? Beliefs and habits are kind of a similar, very similar things, uh, you know, uh, probably two different words. But if you go back, okay, that comes from thoughts, okay? If you believe that you cannot accomplish certain things, if you believe that you cannot quit smoking, if you believe that, uh, you know, you, um, uh, you cannot uh, quit sugar, eating sugar, or we believe that you are not designed, um, you know, for, uh, uh, you know, to exercise every day, okay? That, these are all beliefs, okay? And, uh, you know, you can say this, uh, you know, the beliefs have given you certain habits, Okay, so that is kind of a very much related. Okay, so then that belief and the habits are, you know, the kind of a result of your thoughts. Okay, so the thoughts, what, what you have been thinking or what has gone through your, uh, you know, um, mental, uh, you know, sort of uh, area, okay, in your, into your mind. Um, so that the beliefs and the habits are all a result of your thoughts. Okay, now let's go back to your thoughts. Okay, well, let's for example, your thought comes that, okay, it, it third, third um, you know, uh, simple thought comes that, okay, I want to, let's say, you saw um, a piece of, uh, let's say, cake. You are, you are uh, now very much uh, eager to go and have a slice of it. Okay, so now here comes, you know, a temptation or, you know, a thought is coming. But the thought, if you go back, okay, now here comes a bit of, uh, you know, analysis here, you have to understand these thoughts, okay, um, before the thoughts comes or with the thoughts comes a feelings, okay, so that what is the feeling, okay, so feeling means you are feeling the craving in this example of, uh, you know, uh, eating, eating sugar or eating, eating a piece of cake, so what happens here? is, uh, you know, a feeling, okay, feeling of, uh, you know, um, getting high when you are, you know, probably going for alcohol or, you know, any, any kind of habit, okay, so let's say you do not want to get up um, and to exercise and you want just to sleep for another 10-15 minutes, so what happens here is a feeling, okay, so you are kind of identifying, the, you know, the feeling of becoming a bit lazy, you, you know, so these are kind of a feelings. So when this feeling comes, okay, now you, so the thoughts and feelings are very much attached, okay? So thoughts comes because of feelings and, you know, the feelings gives or uh, are, are gives rise to thoughts, okay? So these are kind of a very uh, interconnected, okay? So now the feelings of anger, okay, or jealousy, or anxiety, or hatred, okay, so these are kind of a bad feelings, or feeling of, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, the good feeling as well, like, you know, you're feeling, feeling high, you know, so these are good feelings as well, okay, so whatever these are feelings now, now, these feelings are bound, Okay, this is very, very important. This is the most important part of it. Uh, you know, understand it. Now, the feelings are bound or they 
they manifest or they're very much linked to your physiology. What does that mean? So that means, let's take for an example, you get to a feeling of anger. Okay, you are angry. So you can't be angry without, uh, you know, without your pulse rate going up, without you um, not feeling or without you sweating or, you know, uh, let's say you are fearful, you are, you are sweating. Okay, you are, you are angry, you are, you are pul pulsating, you're, your pulses have gone up. Okay, your heartbeat is beating quite heavily. Okay, now your mouth may be starting to stutter or, you know, uh, you are kind of a sweating that time. And uh, so these are kind of a feelings of anger or jealous. So every feeling has associated, it may be very subtle, but there is definitely some kind of a physiological changes. So that is where, that is what the connection between your body and mind is, okay? So that's what the feeling is associated, okay? And um, so physiology, for example, uh, let's say you are very tempted to eat a slice of cake. Uh, so you may feel that you are salivating. So that means what? physiology okay it's your body so that means mind is now manifesting itself uh, in the part of your body okay so now is a very important point here that you know in order for you to change your thoughts changing your thoughts is extremely difficult okay now we call it consciously thinking okay so you can consciously alter your thoughts that means you can put on willpower to do it or very simple ways you are becoming aware of what is happening inside you. That means developing the consciousness, okay? And you are, you are observing, and this is where this mindfulness is all about, okay? So you are mindful of everything is happening in your body and the mind and the feeling. So you are mindful of it. So the mindfulness meditation, mindfulness meditation is not forcing your mind to think in a certain way. Mindfulness meditation is you're letting lose your mind but you are mindful that, okay, what is my mind thinking? What am I thinking? What is the feeling uh, I have? Am I feeling a bit of, uh, you know, uh, angry? Am I feeling jealous? Am I feeling a bit of a feeling of a hatred? So these are the feelings. And physiology wise, okay, in your body, what do you see? Is do you see yourself sweating and pulsating and throbbing? Pul you know, different kinds of feelings. Do you do you feel that? So when you when you observe very closely, so that is where you know we, we talk about the mindfulness meditation. When you are mindful, you are conscious. Okay, of not only uh, you know your your thoughts, but your feelings and the physiology. And also you are analyzing, okay, where all this came from is probably the habits, the beliefs which I have developed over a period of time, then is, so knowing the truth itself will liberate you. So what does that mean? So that means now is the trick you are playing with your, um, uh, with your mind that, okay, the pain and the pleasure. So now you, have, you are associating, okay, with, with a thought in your mind, you are associating yourself as you are becoming very, very mindful, okay? And then, for example, you are having, having a sugar, you know, having a cigarette, okay? So when you are uh, smoking, becoming not by uh, forcing your mind to quit, but when you are smoking, let it smoke or you should be smoking it, uh, you know, in a mindful way. Okay, so when you are becoming mindful, then you will find that, you know, it is disgusting. Why? Because you are becoming my mindful. So you are now, your consciousness is all, you know, around your nose, your senses, okay? And, and you, are, you are feeling, uh, you know, uh, the taste on, on your tongue, okay? So that smoke you are smoking in and you don't like that. And that, um, uh, you know, your mouth uh, is bitter and you don't like that. So now because you are conscious of these, okay, what is happening, uh, you know, uh, within your feelings. So now you're associating pain or associating bad feeling. 
And when you are associating the bad feeling with, uh, you know, the cigarette, uh, you know, whatever you are smoking, then, uh, you know, the pain, okay? So your mind or you will automatically, your entire metabolism, your body and the mind will try to get you out of the pain, okay? To a pleasure. So that means when you are away from pain, you are pleasure. So that is the reason why, that is when you feel like, ah, uh, doesn't make sense, okay? I don't want to continue smoking. Exactly the same way. Let's take for an example, you plan that, okay, exercise is good, I want to exercise. And, uh, you know, when you are about to get up, okay or you are planning to get up and then you don't feel like it, getting up you want to just sleep for some time now you just have to be conscious now okay you are not forcing on your body on your mind no forcing but you are becoming conscious of your thoughts okay of what kind of a thoughts is coming okay and um, these these thoughts why is that a thought coming okay and when you are associating laziness and you play like, okay now laziness will uh, you know lead me to you know uh, pain me uh, you know associating pain means you know overweight and i won't be able to sit and uh, you know i don't get the appreciation from my friends and family members i'm not feeling that good you know my body won't be feeling that good okay i want to feel agile and uh, you know happy and uh, you know with all the energy within my body so when you are associating now a pleasure okay with uh, you know with you exercising and the pain for uh, no, you not exercising that is where the entire ball game changes and that is where you will start to uh, you know, uh, you know, get yourself, okay, start to push yourself from the comfort zone to the uncomfort zone, but it won't be any, any more uncomfortable that time or you are not forcing yourself, but your mind is naturally doing it, okay, why, because you are growing and you are, you are looking for pleasure and the pleasure is in the perfect health, Okay, so that is the trick, guys. That is the trick. So that means the trick is becoming conscious first, okay? Uh, if we are not conscious of our thoughts, you know, the things happening within our body, okay, then, you know, we cannot alter it, okay? We cannot change anything. So that is where the consciousness, that is where the mindfulness is so very important. And that is where every time if you are mindful of, you know, your thought pattern, your thought process, that your beliefs, you know, your physiology, guess what? You can alter anything you want, but it has to be consciousness. And the alteration, okay, is not something which you are doing by force, okay? The alteration is not something you are, you know, do, doing by disciplining yourself, mm -hmm. but the alteration you are doing by constantly thinking and associating, okay? So thinking about the pleasure and associating pleasure uh, to your good habit and, uh, you know, uh, associating pain to your bad habit, okay? So the good thing is writing down. So this really helps, you know, um, when you are associating, you know, um, your bad habit with pain and good habit with pleasure, so what you need to do is extremely important or it may definitely help you when you write down Okay, that okay, this is what you know, these bad habits has got me to. These are the, these things, these bad habits have got me to, which I do not like. And the good habits, these habits, if I develop, then this is what you know I will gain. So writing those down, so your mind is now crystal clear and it will start to work on it. Okay, so two things, guys. Then uh, you know, the conclusion wise, what I would suggest that you know, becoming conscious, mindfulness meditation definitely helps. You know, and meditation is for, for a certain duration of time. But if you can be mindful or try to be mindful every time you start, uh, you know, your mind uh, just uh, goes uh, and away and uh, start to you know, go around different thoughts, then. Uh, whenever you are getting uh, becoming aware of it, just bring it uh, bring it back in. You, will you be aware all twenty four seven? Not really, no. But will you be um, uh, becoming aware of it uh, at certain point of time during the day, twenty four hours? Probably when you are awake, will you be aware of? It? Absolutely. 
Okay, so a couple of times, two, three times you are aware, you're becoming aware of two, three seconds, maybe two, three minutes, maybe. Then constantly when you, uh, you are becoming aware, becoming conscious, and then constantly you are working on it, you'll slowly see that your entire, you know, uh, kind of a day, you will be majority of the time you are conscious. When you are conscious, then what you do is you embed, uh, you know, the good habits. Okay, that means associating pleasure and where, how do you find that is writing down. Okay, writing down, uh, you know, how the bad habits are leading you to or has led you to pain, how the good habits. So how do you write it down? Very simple. Uh, we gave the example of uh, working out. Okay, exactly same way. Let's say, for example, uh, you know, food habits. Okay, you have an unhealthy kind of a food. Uh, you eat greasy on unhealthy and uh, sugar rich food. Okay, how do you do that then? So it's very simple. So you just associate yourself, you just write it down. Okay. Um, you know, eating a lot of sugar, it makes me fat. And, you know, this is how, you know, I be feeling like and I'm feeling, feeling heavy. Okay. Now, let's say, for example, we are talking about um, cigarette smoking. Okay. Cigarette, uh, you know, is really bad and pathetic in smell. But, uh, you know, with, um, uh, you know, the, the smoke getting into my lungs, you know, it is destroying my lungs. And I don't want that. I want my lungs to be fresh and, you know, um, uh, to, to, to be healthy. So that is where you are associating yourself, you know, your pleasure and pain, pain to your old habits, bad habits and pleasure to your good habits. So you associate yourself with it. And every time you are becoming aware of it, just practicing it, that will make you, uh, help you to uh, cultivate good habits okay so hope it made sense to you guys uh, i have put together uh, an ebook completely you know free for you you guys uh, you know that ebook you can get hold of okay and uh, let me just share with you that uh, ebook uh, screen so so this is an ebook called breaking bad habits uh, you know it comes with uh, you know the you know uh, amazing book okay and, and this is something which is uh, completely free you can download it free and start to implement guys okay so what you learn here or why you need to break bad habits so you have to understand that um, uh, and identifying okay uh, as we discussed earlier if you, if you do not identify how um, the bad habits are impacting you that's uh, you will not be changing uh, your bad habits so you have to understand um, and then evaluating how actually habits uh, work behind your, you know, um, behind the screen uh, in your mind, habit formation and breaking bad habits. We'll discuss about that. You know, you learn a lot. Okay. New habit formation, three hours you'll find, uh, you know, um, and, you know, the power of good habits and how you can develop that and uh, uh, success habit transition from bad to good, how you make yourself the transition and not only that, but how you can make sure that, you know, your good habits are there for good, you know, forever. Okay, it's long, long lasting. It's not something you develop comes to, to today, uh, you develop something and today you did it and tomorrow it's gone. No, uh, empowering habits you should live by and what you need to do to make sure, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, you are always um good going for good habits rather than bad habits in future okay so whole lot to learn it's a step-by-step -step guide uh, you know this uh, guide uh, you know is for anyone and everyone who wants to break the bad habits to go for good habits you know uh, whatever you discuss in the, this video uh, so the details uh, you know you can find it in the completely free ebook make sure you click on the link below to download your free book and not only download, but start to implement whatever you learn so that, you know, you can break, you know, uh, your uh, bad habits and go and, uh, you know, change your life for better. Okay. So with that, I am done. Make sure you download that and start implementing it and put your comment below what exactly, you know, um, is your struggle or if you, if this helped or it, it, it did not help and what was your comment so that we will evaluate and, uh, you know, we'll see how you can tweak and change and so that it can be better. But this is a very, very powerful um, method where, you know, you can change your bad habits. Okay. With that, we are done until the next video, guys. Over and out.